back again on today's video and then today we are going to do upgrade on this laptop the HP uh, CS0033 TX and today's uh, upgrade we will doing the installation of this Kingston uh, M2 M.2 SSD NVMe this is the latest version the NVMe version as you can see hopefully you can see let me focus on the things yes the NVMe and then together with my newly repair Seagate SSHD I think I show you guys previously upgrade on my laptop SSHD but it the SSHD went wrong so Seagate uh, with a good uh, reputable company they replaced me with a new as you can see here it says factory let me focus on that factory repair Seagate so it's a factory repair Seagate so they replaced me with this one which is the warranty will be still valid for the another two years which one SSHD will be five will co uh, will have a five years warranty same like this okay so uh, why I need the, to install the uh, SSHD and the NVMe M2 SSD well here's the things um, I'm using laptop my laptop for a, for a music uh, production so most of the time um, loading samples will take a long time so in order to get that fast uh, I need to use um, SSD just for the portion of the music software means my Windows Windows OS would be running on this SSHD okay this hybrid uh, hard drive and um, solid state drive SSHD so while in the other hand the software for the music production will be run on this SSD okay the NVMe SSD okay um, for that reason is because I don't want any Windows application or antivirus a non wanted application to be run to be to be run on this SSD just to interfere with my music software most of the time people will do installation Windows on SSHD sorry on SSD and a software installation um, of files on the normal 5400 5, Seagate hard disk now for me that's not the case this is what I want to build for let the windows run on this a bit slower drive but make sure the software for my music run on this um, on the M2 SSD okay so in case you wonder what is the music software exactly well I'm using FL Studio 12 uh, Pro it's a studio FL Studio then this is how it takes when you are loading sample okay here we have the contact 5 software which we put the VST on the FL Studio and see when I load this uh, Swedish piano the not piano sample you see how long it will take so that's how it's load It's a 5.6 uh, gigabyte of piano library so see how long that it takes if this happen on your live gig people will waiting you just to load your piano sample and the band would be will be upset waiting for you to load all the sample while they already uh, do the jamming and the guitar things while you still waiting on your piano to be load it's not a good experience so no worry we'll put it on this one and see how it's react but of course I want you to experience the trouble that I have with this normal HHD this is a Toshiba 5400 HDD just a normal HDD not a hybrid not a hybrid like this one and it's shares together with the windows and the application itself so it's roughly around one minute 
over already with just one sample man forget it it's too long all right i can't wait it till it loads but that's the point that i want to show you it takes time it doesn't go directly as what i wanted so this one it takes time of course it loads and sometimes it also make the piano sound jerking because a piano sample takes very lots of processing because it's like you play mp3 file for each key of the piano so each time you press another key it will play another file so a good hdd will help you because once the sample is busy streaming together with the windows then the piano to start to sound jerking so that's not a good situation you have so in that case you need to uh, use SSH, uh, SS, ssd for the reason okay uh one eternity later so now it's load man that takes really a long time okay so now let's continue with the installation of the sshd and ssd okay for you guys who is wondering actually i duplicate the windows to my sshd here using c tools c tools is a free seagate software for drive cloning so i use this that one sorry the name is c uh, c wizard okay is bundled together with this hdd the seagate hybrid ssd okay what is ssd if you don't if you still don't understand ssd ssd is a normal hard disk with 8 gigabyte of ssd portion so most of the time all the file is sketched through the 8 gigabyte ssd portion okay so let's continue this is the inside of the laptop um, we're going to replace these and the sshd but first of all because this part is easier i'm going to uh, put the SSH, sshd first the m2 sshd okay so we're going to do the unboxing real quick um, uh, by the way these guys come with five years warranty the warranty you just need to register online create account with kingston and basically that's about it and i tell you what some manufacturer provide screw for the ssd while some is not so depending on um, which manufacturer do the things you may need to to either buy or find the suitable one okay so it's just slide here and there you go it's in okay it's in and just wait for the screw so after digging a while finally i found a similar screw that can be fit onto the onto the ssd uh, the m2 uh, screw holes and this is the little screw that i have it's from my old laptop wi-fi basically it's the same length so sorry it's not focused by by the way it's just a screw so anyway if you buying kingston um, ssd the m2 ssd beware that the screw is not provided okay and if you are kingston guy watching over this review this installation man please try to provide some screw it's very troublesome i have to stop the video just to uh, find a screw that is compatible with this slot okay so let's just screw it mm, that's it remember guys this one is not something you, that you need to over tighten because once you over tight it you may break the pcb board of the sshd which is not good and always um there are always a question from um viewer over my youtube channel is my laptop support nvme is my laptop support um, the PCIe slot basically M2 with NVMe is a PCI NVMe PCIe and PCIe M2 means NVMe okay so for Intel model all Intel CPU which is um, produced in the year 2018 and above 
all is supporting NVMe. So no worry if your laptop is Intel and it's manufactured in 2018, it is support the NVMe of SSD. Okay, there's no question about it. But it's other than their chipset or produced 2017. Uh, uh, 2017 and before then you need to find your manufacturer spec sheet see if it's supporting nvme type of ssd so a clear look on the installation this is how it look okay so i'm going to focus yeah so that's it okay it's tight and secure that's the screw by the way okay so now it's for the ss hd 10 for this HP laptop, you just have two screw here, that and that. Just remove both, guys, and make sure the tip of the screwdriver, the the driver, this Phillips screwdriver, make sure it match the screw. If not, you will just destroy the screw, and it end up you cannot be serviceable again in the future. See, let me choose the right screw. It's this small one pit all right okay put that that way okay just two of it and this cable remember just lip the the locking the locking pin and then just rise up the cable a bit and pull it so it's released okay now slowly gently oh that's the screwdriver leave this hard disk all right so this is the toshiba normal hard disk is 5400 rpm it's relatively very reliable but slow in terms of performance so we're going to upgrade it to a bit fast just a bit fast sshd okay guys so this is the final product of the get sshd into the the frame of the hp uh, hp hard disk mount okay so again make sure these two screw you open before uh you you can remove this metal and then again for the screw make sure you do not over tighten it if you feel there's a resistance and that's it because this is not designed to be like your car wheel where you tighten it until the point that you no, cannot spin it anymore because this is made of soft metal it will easily destroy and then by the time you do that the screw is loosened and cannot be pit okay so again it's pretty easy after that secure and align there's actually a notch here plastic notch which align your this the hdd to the screw hole all right so just the two screw again and it's very small screw so you're gonna be careful not to lose those as replacement for those is hardly to find because it's a custom made And always be after you screw this up you tighten it make sure not forget to put back this cable else it wouldn't boot or anything because is this is the contact between the motherboard and the hard drive okay so now it's secure should be it will be just like this and now it's perfect again guys just for safety tips if you see this kind of cable running around where is it yep this metal cable make sure do not interfere with it even it obstruct your screw or whatever because this is grounding point for the laptop if this is destroyed your laptop will be uh, have a lot of floating charge then will make it shut down because of the too much of electricity floating charge okay 
so there's no grounding the laptop will shut down okay make sure not to interfere with this metal strip else you just destroy your laptop okay let's just do the closing basically guys one tip before you do closing what you're going to do you make sure the laptop is able to boot but don't put the laptop this base of the laptop because the electronic is now exposed don't put it like the normal way you put make sure the screen is is on the bottom like this so make sure you angle it the the base like this a bit so it doesn't flip okay it's just going to sit like this and press the on button see if the new hard disk boot in your clone hard disk is working okay right let's do it now bismillah yep that's it i see the hp logo that should be it and the windows is loading all right it's a windows 10 hp by the way so this is something that i can't wait anyway let it boot first then i can shut down relatively speaking uh speaking about SS, SS, uh, sshd and normal hdd SS, sshd will have a better start improvement uh, boot time improvement because of the portion of ssd it have okay so most of the time it will boot faster than normal hdd the 5400 rpm and by the way just for your info only two company produce sshd for the time being which is seagate and toshiba they are joint venture company if you buy toshiba sshd or seagate sshd basically it's the, about the same because seagate bought toshiba storage company already so they are bought the one family okay usually for the first time start for clone this it will take time like this it's very normal that's a good sign yep i saw my name ikmal and that's it we done so i'm going to shut down this by the way so where's the shutdown button and i'm going to put this one again maybe all right that's it for the tip of this laptop remember it's very simple after a while first time open it very hard because of the clips over here let me show you a bit there's the clip over here which which make the laptop more secure into the body but after pre-opening it the clips will be broke okay as per hp the warranty would not void because they understand you might update the ram and so on as long as this motherboard don't have uh physical damage then it's still under hp warranty okay and then let's just close it okay slowly align it and snap it most okay you hear the snap it's good and i have sponge down here so even i press the laptop it will not do the some damage okay so just here right okay okay it's good now everything is snap in everything is aligned now basically so let's just screw it back so i'm not going to show you the screwing part it's the same screw you open it back and reverse the process that's about it so guys basically this is the laptop after it's been installed with both sshd and then ssd the m2 ssd and vme series from kingston the a1000 okay as you can see here in my drive 
I have three drives here. This one is the normal HP recovery. It's run on Windows S the SSHD from Seagate together with this Windows. So relatively, the boot is just a bit faster than previous one because it's run on SSHD now. Not SSD, but SSHD, the Seagate SSHD. And for my music file, my musical instrument, I put separately in here on the Kingston NVMe SSD, the 240 gigs. I just renamed it Igmal Pass. As you can see here, this is my instrument library. All the ultimate strings and stuff, I put it here. Okay, so as you can see, the focus of build on this laptop is basically more onto music production so i don't really care the time it takes to boot the thing is as long as the music production software runs smoothly that's what i am for so i show you the previous thing how's the trouble that very very annoying loading on the sample time so now it's run on the sshd the seagate sshd as you can see here, this is the normal sample, the same sample that we used to load on the SSD. So let's so load the same library that we use to load on the HDD, the SS, the HDD, the Toshiba HDD. So see, so this is the ultimate stage piano. And when I click, you see the loading time? It's definitely a big difference from the last time. And it's done. It's possibly just 10 or 15 seconds to load. Okay. So this is a big sample. Piano sample. It's not very. It's not a really an, a small sample that most MIDI use. This is a very very big sample. As you can see. It's a 5 gig sample. And you see. It's not. The things you have to see here is the disk load, okay? So you see CPU and this. See, if I press key any key, you see the disk is still zero. Means the disk is super super fast. It doesn't bottleneck the software, okay? So next thing is I will close this guy and load the bigger sample, which is the Alicia key by contact. So when I click instrument and I just load the sample double click see how man it's really fast and boom it's there okay and again we test let's test it with some sustain sorry for the shakiness but as you can see what i try to prove here the d slot is zero means the software is not bottlenecked by the hard disk performance so the hard disk is really really capable of delivering this software uh, uh, data when needed okay so this is the kind of strategy that i use because i don't want the windows program to keep bugging the same uh, storage that used for my music software so i keep the c drive in a normal hdd the sshd and then for the music software on the ssd together with its library so therefore there's no bottleneck from antivirus windows search or windows troubleshooter it's nothing it's just run by its own so, okay so there's no bottleneck on the interface whatsoever and it is a high performance uh, nvme ssd previously when what i noticed is when i running on a normal HDD or whatever SSHD as well is the same. I heard when the C when the disk is overloaded by the usage of the piano. I show you the disk just now um, because it's the camera is a bit blur. So when I use the sample to load on a normal HDD, when the HDD usage is full, the piano will start to sound jerking. It's like when you sustain hells a note like that it just cut up like that for example it's like that so when you hold sustain it's just simply cut off so that's a not a good experience especially when you are on stage so for those gamer 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 guy or musician guy who want to create a music computer for as a production music production tool 
it is better for you to use SSD or hard drive or whatever it is just for the software itself don't mix with Windows or whatever as you know Windows 10 have much of an update issue now because once it's updated it will disturb any operation that is currently ongoing okay so I want to actually because this is a high very very high quality sampling piano so at least I can show you how it sounds like and why I really need this kind of software okay so let me just run you uh, a bit of uh, a uh, a song just a short song that is a uh, thousand year by Christina Perry so you can hear roughly how high is the quality of the piano sound You see, it's very lovely, and for the bass, man, it's very cool. You need to have this one, guys. I think what I can recommend you if you are on budget like me we use a very very cheap um, cheap I mean it's safe cost it's not that cheap it's just a very budget kind of build like a normal laptop you want to it to become a gaming or either a music production tool this is what you should do we separate the OS from the the program drive which is you need the most for example game drive share in uh, ssd a spread ssd or the music software share on different ssd from there you don't bottleneck the drive uh, interface so is it will perform as what you expect and it will keep perform all right so i think guys that's about it so far if you have any question you may just put in the command and then if you feel this channel is very helpful please please subscribe because whenever you subscribe it means that you can help me a lot because a lot of my review is very honest review uh, my review is not sponsored by any other brands or electronics so each of my purchase that i made is basically i do a lot of consideration before doing the purchase because um in my constraint is the budget so each time most of the time the review mostly helpful if you guys want to find the ultimate hardware with a by the cost of a budget uh with a budget constraint okay so anyway guys see you on the next video and take care bye